This is Twit. <laughs> what can I do for you, John? So, Leo, listen, uh, I need uh, some help in putting together a um, desktop computer. So uh, I am of the um, uh, opinion that I get the best possible desktop uh, with the best possible components. So it lasts me a long time, and I like Dell computers, XPS. And the one that I'm currently the, – the one that I currently have right now is about to be 11 years old. Yikes! I know. You did get the maximum – <laughs> you worked that guy till it's been on, do it on its knees. <laughs> That's how I feel. And I feel, well, look, I, I'm a teacher. And uh, so everything we're doing right now is, you know, through so-called long, you know, this distance learning. And I feel that this thing, when I'm running Zoom and I'm running like um, all of these windows. Yeah. And, uh, that's, I mean, I, I feel like noises from the back of my computer that I've never had before. So I'm... <laughs> I'm yeah, once I'm computers pushing. start groaning, oh, yeah, you I mean, fired yeah. me up again. Oh, exactly. no. And then once I start, like, uh, you know, shutting things down, like I turn on Zoom, then, then the, the computer already starts humming down to its regular hum. Yeah, it's the so, fan. It's the yeah. fan, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, it, but these things wear out. That's the, that's the only thing. Well, <laughs> in a modern computer, that's the only moving part. Your computer has spinning hard drives still. You'd be yeah. benefiting. And, you know, if you liked your Dell XPS... I uh, I have the Dell XPS 13, the 2020 edition they they came out with in January, and I I love it. It's yeah. a beautiful computer. I highly recommend it. Yeah. You want a laptop? No, a uh, desktop. I'm 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 just a fan of desktop. Oh well, you know you're right because a desktop is. I mean, you can't really upgrade a laptop, but desktops you can upgrade. You can fix things if they go wrong. You can take them out. You yeah, know, I've, yeah, I've done things over the years. Yeah, yeah. And you can come. You can clean them. In fact, that might be where you're hearing the groaning from. Uh, is the fans might be getting a little dust on them and stuff like that. You might, you could actually probably open it up, but still, eleven years—that's a long time. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's appropriate to say I'm due a new computer. Yeah, yeah. Does the school help you at all with that? Uh, no, I mean they could—they're letting us uh, take our school computers, our dust, our desktop school, uh, school computers home. But then I run into some problems, like uh, you know, there's certain things I can't run off. Yeah, have, so they're locked I down. Do. They're probably as old as your home computer anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah, it's not, I mean, it's, you're also going to use it for personal use. Right. right. So, Leo, I have three, three things that I wanted to ask you about. Uh, okay. You know, my hard drive, my graphics card, and my memory. So, um, hard drive, obviously, I have to go to a solid state now. Yeah, you want to go to an SSD. Yeah, yeah. Big, so, big difference. Big improvement. So the question is, uh, you know, is it a single or a dual set that they offer, like a... Uh, I know that they say that, you know, the, the, think, the thinking with dual hard drives is that one is a solid state and the other one is a regular state. Don't do one. that. That's the hybrid. And they did that because it was so expensive. It used to be so expensive for SSDs. They thought, well, we'll give you a little SSD. You get some of the benefit of the speed. And, and we'll move stuff that you use a lot onto that. But they're really little. They're like 64 gigs. It, it was a bad idea. And it was an interim idea. And because the prices of SSDs have now fallen drastically... It's a it's an old idea. You don't need to worry about. It. Just get a solid state drive. Okay. So then, uh, you know, like a, if I get like a, a one with one terabyte, plenty, uh, plenty. Okay. Okay. Right. Great. Plenty. Okay. So uh, there's no then there's no need to get a second one where you no you you your... would want some external drives for backup. You know, you always have to right. consider your backup, but yeah. internally a terabyte is a lot of storage. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Check. Uh, graphics card, uh, yeah, never on board. Always buy, uh, you know, a, a good graphics card. Question is, even though you know I might not be, you know, editing video and stuff like that, I just have the opinion that the best graphics card. You know, always I don't think you need to do that. This, these days, the Intel uh, graphics have gotten the iris is pretty darn good. I got to take a break. Hold on, I'll talk to you off the air. Scott Wilkinson, Home Theater Geek, coming up. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Honestly. Um, because you're not do, you're not gaming. Are you doing anything that demands discrete graphics? I guess is the question. Well, you know, I, I don't know if this is true, but when I'm zooming and I'm running all of these things, does that is that the considered graphics, uh, Leo, or not? Yeah, the zoom will use the graphics card, but right. you don't need a high end. You'll spend a lot of money for a high end uh, graphics card. Right. I was about to ask. And you how and much. honestly, what Intel has done over the years. Uh, to improve the graphics that come with the Intel chip, the system on a chip, the Iris is their current version, is actually quite good. It's as good as a graphics card was a couple of years ago. So uh -huh. I, I think for Zoom, it's fine. If you're doing gaming or video editing 
or 3D design. There are a few things that graphic, you know, Photoshop. There are a few things that graphics card will benefit you. But it is a great expense. And honestly, I would say take that money and buy a nicer monitor or a nicer, you know, keyboard or things that you're going to really benefit from. I don't think you're going to see any difference. So I should stick with the onboard graphics or yeah. something? Or, or? Yeah, they're really? fine. Yeah, you don't need to spend extra. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, well on, on the onboard's graphics card, will they support dual monitors? Because I'm really... Absolutely. Busy. They do? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm so glad I spoke to yeah, you. Yeah, we'll save you some money. That saves you some quite a bit of money on yeah, it. Yeah, I was getting ready to shell out like 300 bucks or 350 yeah. for, uh, for just that alone. I'd, I'd prefer seeing you get a nicer monitor or two monitors. That's great. Yeah, Love yeah. that. Okay, yeah, for pre presenting, it makes sense. I love, you know, one of the things Zoom does is it'll put the ta speaker in one screen and then the, the grid in another screen. Right. So I, I love that. There's lots of reasons why you would like that. You're presenting, so you'd right. like to see your desktop. There's all sorts of reasons why. Yeah, I'm yeah, you know, all, the, all, the, all the things that I'm going to present, I'd like to yeah. stick on one, on one, prepare and have them on one in, monitor. In general, uh, any modern, you know, i5 with, with uh, Iris graphics, is gonna is gonna be fine. You you might check the specs before you buy it, or call and ask and say, are you, "Can I do two monitors?" But I've never heard of it not being able to do two monitors. Okay. Yeah. And finally, memory. Um, you know, I currently have on this old thing here. You know, twelve gigabytes. But obviously, twelve's I good for eleven years ago. You obviously added some after a while. Yeah. 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 I'd say uh, sixteen is fine. Okay. Not there. So I don't have to go to. No. Again, that's if you're doing stuff that really is demanding. Okay. Sixteen is plenty. Okay. So 16 terabyte, and this is a very typical setup, by the way. 16 gigs of RAM, a terabyte hard drive, huh? uh, internal, you know, motherboard graphics, Iris graphics. That's a that's that's kind of the base model. And an i5 is plenty. You don't need an i7. That was my final question. <laughs> yeah. So no no i7, the no difference, i9, just i5. Is yeah, fine. I mean, if it's a small price difference, the difference between the i5 and 7 is more L2 cache, which does make a difference in performance. And... Uh, you'll get uh, hyper-threading, which means you can do more things simultaneously. So you'll get some benefit from an i7. Uh -huh. In a laptop, I don't generally recommend them just because the heat issues keep it from running at full speed. But on a desktop with good cooling, uh, you'll, see a better, you'll see better performance with an i7. So okay. it's, it's, it's kind of, an I, uh, it's kind of a, up to you on whether you want to spend the money on that. Gotcha. Leo, thank you so much, man. I'm so, so, so thankful that you, you know, you, you, you did this for me because you just gave me a bunch of money right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a great, have a, thank you for teaching. What, what do you teach? <laughs> I teach Spanish at the high school level. Nice. And man, it is hard, Leo. Nice. Keeping their attention uh, in Zoom must be very difficult. Oh, my God. It's, you know, a class of 35, 36 kids. And, must be and so hard. Oh, I can't tell you. I, especially I, language. Yeah. Especially language, Leo. You yeah. know, I, I, I need the interaction. And right. then I need to inter have them interact with one another. Man, it's so difficult. I just hope this whole thing... You know, we just get out of this as soon as possible. Yeah, you know, and in some ways you're going to look at this year as a little bit, not lost, but there'll be it'll be a um, a less less valuable year for these kids, sad to say. Yeah. But um, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the way it is. Exactly. That we, better than dying. <laughs> hey, thank you for teaching. Thank you for making that sacrifice. Thank you for the My pleasure. Take care. So Bye, John. Much.